Hey everyone, today we're going to be designing cat heaven. So you're going to want to have a large piece of paper to draw on and you're going to want to do your drawing in pencil first. Then you can go back and outline with an ultra fine Sharpie. But you can stop. I would like to invite you to try drawing cats in at least several different poses today. So here we have a cat standing, leaping through the air, licking its paw, and sleeping. I mean, these are all very simple drawings. Here's an image of what a cat in heaven might look like as it flies through the air. I love that the style of this cat is a little bit dark. I'm going to be placing my cats on top of a series of different clouds. So I want to show this drawing to show you all these different possibilities for uh, ways you can design clouds on your picture. I love this drawing because it shows cats in several different poses. For example, pouncing, laying down, walking, rolling around with a bunch of yarn, licking the paws, and a nice good stretch. Pusheen is a very popular style cat, so we will be doing a couple of our cats in the style of Pusheen. I would encourage all of you to try drawing several different styles of cats today. Here's another cat in heaven. Notice the feathers in the background, the wings, butterflies, halo, and the crown. I especially love the wand and the rising full moon. This scene is really funny to me because cats are well known for loving boxes. And last but not least, here's an astronaut cat. If you wanted, you could put some wings on the back of this cat as well. As you can see, I've already lightly penciled my design in the background, but I'm gonna be going over it with Sharpie with you step by step. I'm first going to design some clouds for my cats to be hanging out on. As you can see, I've added four really fluffy clouds to my picture with uh, curly edges, and I put them on different levels of my paper. I also left some room up top to add a big, beautiful rainbow. On top of my first cloud, I'm going to draw two cats playing with each other. So one is flying through the air and the one beneath it is gonna be on its back. And both cats are going to have halos floating above their heads. I decided to add a cat up here uh, rolling over on her back and playing with catnip. Notice how I did the, the cloud um, curling upwards like this to kind of hold her so it looks like she's actually, actually hanging out inside of the cloud. Got another cat over here, a really fluffy one, that's just kind of hanging out on top of the cloud, perched with uh, her front paws overhanging the edges of the cloud. And some big wings sticking out. There are many different ways you can do eyes. I like to leave a little circle in the center that's white. I'm gonna do these eyeballs a little bit differently. I'm gonna do a white spot and then I'm gonna fill in the rest black. Over here, I'm gonna do a slightly different style of kitty that's laying on his back, playing with a giant ball of yarn. I thought it would be fun to add a kitty that was dabbing, having a dance party under a disco ball. Adding a couple musical notes up here to suggest music. And a disco ball. Some sparkles. I'm gonna be adding a couple of Pusheen style angel cats here at the bottom. This one's eating a pizza, angel wings. 
Pusheen tends to have solid black eyes, simple markings. This one's going to be hanging out on top of a kawaii, we'll call it a chicken burger, maybe a fish burger. As you can see, she's taken a bite out of it already. And the burger is being eaten, so we're gonna do some kind of a frowny face here. Up here, we'll do a kitty laying on her side, the crown, a big beautiful tail, and some angel wings. Notice this cat is in a much different style than the Pusheen style cats. I decided to put a cat in a box right at the bottom of my rainbow. This cat has really wavy hair. This is also a very different style than the last cat we drew. I'm gonna do um, little tiny angel wings on the side of the cat here. For these eyes, I'm doing big circles and I'm just gonna do little tiny pupils in the center. Now I'm gonna add really long whiskers. I love the pose of this cat. You can see really big head up top with some bushy side hair. And then spread wide open arms. Instead of drawing an astronaut kitty, I thought I would do a flying angel kitty with a fishbowl on her head. Since cats love birds, I thought it'd be fun to add a few birds in cat heaven. Once you have finished drawing your design in pencil, go back and outline everything with an ultra fine Sharpie. Once you're done outlining with a Sharpie, go back and erase all of your pencil marks. I'm gonna outline the edges of my clouds with white crayons so that they stay white when I watercolor the background. I'm also gonna do my rainbow in crayon so that, again, when I watercolor the background, there'll be that wax resist effect and it will pop out. I'm gonna color in my sparkles yellow with crayon as well for the same reason. When I paint over it with watercolor, it will resist the watercolor. As you can see, I'm coloring my cats in with a variety of different colors and textures. This one's gonna have different dark brown stripes and markings on it. After you have colored in everything on your picture, you're ready to watercolor the background. For the background, I'm going to take some blue watercolor and add it to the lid of my watercolor tray. This is really important because if I take it directly from here, it's gonna to be too dark. So I'm adding it to the lid and then I'm gonna add a bunch of water and make it really, really light. And then I, I'm gonna do a little purple in my background too. So I'm adding some purple over here I'm gonna start with a really light wash of purple on the bottom, and then I'm gonna blend up into a light blue color. I'm gonna overlap the two colors just a little bit where they meet. Did it 